Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be asking the question, is procrastination good when it comes to your artwork? Before we get into this time lapse and the discussion note, if you fancy drawing this along with me in real time, then there are full tutorials over on Patreon. There are 12 parts to this, they are half an hour long and you get full voiceover, tips and techniques and everything you need to know to learn to draw this pheasant. Prints are also available of this lovely piece over on my website shop and my Etsy store. I'll leave a card up above to the link to both stores and in the description below for you should you wish to purchase one of these prints to hang on your wall. It's perfect for Christmas. There is 50% off for today, the 24th of November. So I've seen a lot of videos and articles floating around with tips on how to beat procrastination when it comes to art and although those tips are really helpful in beating procrastination they often don't say how it can actually help your work. I've recently been a victim of this really scary word and term. As an artist, it's one of the most feared things which can happen, especially if you intend to make an income or you have a business which revolves around creating and producing new sort of artworks or crafts or anything. Nobody wants to put something off if they need to make a living and you need to earn money to pay bills from it. So a lot of people procrastinate on a piece of artwork to the point that they never end up finishing it. And that's when procrastinating is kind of really bad for your work. Obviously, if you never finish a piece of artwork, you're never gonna see the potential that that piece could have had. So if you don't finish it, you're never gonna see what it could have turned out like and you may have ended up loving it. So when can procrastination in artwork or with a craft be good for you? So this is really where this pheasant piece comes into play. I started this piece as a Patreon tutorial way back in March this year, 2017, and it was going really well. Of course, I was really excited to do it because I had to record tutorials. I was having lots of fun making the tutorials, but about halfway through, I found that it was really starting to grate on me. So drawing all of these feathers and colour matching and getting everything perfect for this piece was really starting to take its toll and over time, over the course of the time that it took me to record the tutorials, I just fell out of love with this piece. I dreaded working on it. When I came to the end of the tutorials, when I said at the end I was going to finish this piece and do all the feathers and everything, I woke up and I dreaded working on those feathers which kind of mentally drained me. They required a lot of thinking and I don't often like to have to think a lot about artwork when I'm actually drawing it. I like to do the thinking process before actually starting it. So I did what any good procrastinator would do, I put it in a drawer and I left it. In my case though, I didn't actually have a drawer, I just kind of have a pile on the floor of unfinished artwork, so I just added it to the pile. Every now and then I would pick it up, I'd look at it and I'd think, should I finish you? But the love still wasn't there and I procrastinated more and more and more on it. So it wasn't actually until about two days ago that I was just looking through this pile of dread, which I keep on the floor, and I stumbled upon on the pheasant again and I looked at it and there was inspiration there. There was a vision to actually complete this work and there was a love to actually work on it again which was really surprising to me. Maybe it was the want of variation in my work again because I'm working on a lot of fur and other pieces that require that kind of texture so maybe I just wanted to work on feathers again. Maybe it was just the funny little expression on the pheasant's face that made me want to draw this again but the excitement was there so I got up my pencils, I sat down and I actually managed to finish the bird. I'm pretty sure I know what it was that inspired me to finish the work. Having taken that time away from the pheasant, it enabled me to learn and grow to where I needed to be able to confidently and easily finish the pheasant and give him like the frame and everything that he actually deserves. I think without time away from this piece and doing the whole procrastination bit, I doubt I would have been able to finish this piece and love it as I do now. So I don't think I would have been able to finish it and actually like it. 
I fear that I would have rushed the piece or ruined it somehow by hating every single minute of completing those tricky little feathers. I don't know about you guys, but I never produce good work when I'm disliking the subject or frustrated by which technique to use or in a bit of a mess as to what colours to use and things like that. So this is an example of when procrastination can be a good thing for your work. Just taking that time away from a piece to learn and grow as an artist, to learn new things, new techniques maybe, which will enable you to be able to produce and finish your work confidently. So time away from a piece can sound like a bad thing, especially if you're making money, but in most cases, and especially in my case, it really helped to produce this quality piece of work. The pheasant came out absolutely fantastic. I'm in love with him. I'm going to pop him in a frame in a minute and put him up on my wall. So for me, this was a good procrastination time. So coming back to work on the pheasant, I learned that I worked in a completely different way to when I began the piece. I also used some new materials, which I hadn't used for a while. I went in and I used a little bit of solvent blending, which I hadn't done for an absolute age, but I found that that technique and working in that way really helped this pheasant. So I, what I did was I applied the techniques to the unfinished part and then I went back over the whole of the pheasant and applied those techniques as well. So I blended everything out, I gave everything a new coat of colour, I darkened all of the parts that needed that little bit of extra oomph and that was what was missing from this piece. So having some time away from this pheasant piece, it enabled me to reconnect with an old method of how I used to draw, so just using some solvent blender, just working in a completely different way. That time away enabled me to grow and find myself a little bit more. That might sound corny, but that's exactly kind of what it did. It enabled me to just pick up techniques that I hadn't used for a while and then apply them to the pheasant. You're always growing as an artist and learning new things anyway, so taking that little bit of time away from that piece, you might not have had the abilities to be able to finish it confidently when you first started it, but then coming back to it, you're confident because you've learnt and grown as an artist. So what's my advice to any of you who may be procrastinating over a piece of work? It's okay to stumble. Allow yourself that time away from your piece, grow as an artist and regularly look back at old unfinished pieces and see if a spark reignites. Don't be too hard on yourself if you fall out of love with the drawing. Think of procrastination as a good thing to enable you to produce even better art because more often than not you will produce amazing works and you'll surprise yourself. So just having that little time away, if you're feeling bored with a piece just leave it, come back to it and you'll probably feel inspired to draw it after a little bit of time away. In my case, it was a long time away, but try not to leave it as long as me. As always guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any suggestions on kind of tips and advice that you'd like me to talk about, then pop them in the comments below and leave me your thoughts on how you think that you can grow as an artist from procrastination. Do you think procrastination is a good thing or do you think it's a bad thing? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, then give it a little thumbs up. A share is always appreciated with your lovely art friends as well. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.